Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Python's Realm Season 2, guys. Thank you very much once again for the support you showed in the last episode. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna address the elephant in the room, my friends. Apparently I missed a gold chest at the bottom of a desert temple in the last episode. We will go ahead and uh, see just what is going on down there, which is where I'm going right now. But, uh, yeah, as always, guys, we're gonna hop into the fan art for today's episode, which comes from Loki. And they decided to go ahead. Oh, let's not die. They decided to go ahead and draw my uh, my my Terraria characters. I mean, there's a bunch of Terraria characters on there. There's my Pea Snake. There's my uh, there's my Pharaoh's outfit there. You got my Magic outfit there on the left. There's so many characters on there. I love the little Terraria tree as well. So Loki, thank you very much for the fan art. I really do appreciate it. And of course, guys, if you want to go and send in yours, you can do so using the details on screen for a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out, my friends. So uh, yeah, I think. Uh, I think I oh jeez! I took a potion and then uh, it immediately just got wiped out by that dude. Oh boy! Right here we go. Come on! Oh man, I freaking hate sandstorms, man. Darude sandstorm, that meme is freaking dead, bro. Y'all shouldn't be around here, you freaking butt. Hey, I'll tell you what I could do with. There's a whole bunch more mana crystal. Check this out. So we're going to go. We can make six of them now if we wanted to. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six. Uh, 180 mana. Wow. Not bad. Not bad for episode. What is this? Episode four? I think it's episode four anyway. That's pretty nuts. That's pretty nuts, guys. I will uh, I will take that. I will not complain about it. If I can get myself maybe two more Fallen Stars by a strike of luck. Uh, oh, yep. There they are. <laughs> All in a row. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are now... <laughs> Let's get over this. We are now at maximum mana. 200 mana. Obviously, the only way we'll be able to increase it now is by, uh, is by having... You know, magic accessories, uh, magic armor, all that kind of stuff. There's plenty of stuff that will allow us to get more than 200 mana. I do believe the absolute maximum amount of mana you can have is 400. So, yeah, it's kind of cool, though. It's kind of cool. All right, boys, let's continue. Let's continue. I want to get down into that freaking temple, boys. All right, over here. And yes. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I don't know if they actually drop anything. I have no idea. <laughs> Anyways, let's head down, my friends. Let's see where that golden chest was. So I'm looking. I was looking on the mini map before the episode started, and I, I didn't see the house like at all. So I'm not entirely sure. But you know, the overwhelmingly high amount of comments that you guys left saying that uh, hey man, you missed a freaking chest. Yeah. That uh, makes me think that there is actually something down there, which kind of brings me onto something. If I do manage to miss something, there is absolutely no need at all for multiple people to go ahead and all say it. You really don't need to, okay? If you see someone who has already commented something, I would much appreciate it if you would just go ahead and thumbs up the other person's comment. Because it means my commentary is not spammed with the same comment over and over. And therefore, I can actually get a comment question of the video a little bit easier. So, yeah, I would appreciate it as a personal favor if, uh, you know, in future, if I do miss something, just go ahead, thumbs up someone else's comment who has already addressed it. So, yeah, thank you very much. Anyways, uh, boom, get wrecked. Right, so, I mean, yeah, that was just not worth it. It was not worth it. Well, that was, uh... That's always nice, isn't it? Well, yeah. I mean, that could have been something good in there. You guys are quite right, but sadly there wasn't. RNG is being a butt. It's being a butt, my friends. It's being a butt. Right, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. What could be a cool idea is uh, picking up that fallen star, first of all. But what could be a cool idea is if we bought ourselves a whole bunch of bombs. Uh, I'm going to buy 50. Uh, yeah, seems like a decent amount. Hey, we can also make a wooden yo-yo if we so pleased. But uh, I am tempted to go ahead to a crimson biome, okay, uh, which is all the way over here. Holy crap. Oh, man, that's almost pretty much where the freaking temple was, dude. Wow. The crimson biomes are absolutely... They yonks away, dude. That's pretty nuts. Like, in terms of where the crimsons are, they are a long, long way away. That's crazy. Huh. Okay. Right, anyways. Oh, I already got 10 bombs on me. Brilliant. Hey, man. I'll take it. I'll take it. No complaints coming from me. But we're going to head over to a crimson biome. We're going to open up a couple of those, uh, uh, you know, those crimson heart things. Maybe, just maybe, we can get a meteor to spawn in. And we can get ourselves our first proper armor set. 
the meteor armor. That would be pretty cool, right? Because that thing gives you a lot of armor and a lot of increased magic damage. So if we manage to get a space gun as well, then boys, we are in the money. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's head over to the Crimson Biome. And here we go, my friends. Time to make our way down. Hopefully, oh jeez, I'm dead. Wow. Since when did you get sheer chasms like that in Crimson Biomes? What the crap? They normally go side to side to side to side, just winding down. They don't freaking drop off like that, man. Wow. All right, guys. So let's take a slightly more safer way down, shall we say. Hello. Right, and now I can get my money back, even though it actually wasn't that much. <laughs> Oh, dear. Hey, buddy. Get wrecked. There you go. Thank you very much. Right. Uh, yeah. That was an embarrassing death, it has to be said. I didn't really think to use the umbrella. Because, like I say, normally you're, you're pretty safe in your presumption that you could just drop down. You see here, it just goes side to side. That's how most Crimson Biomes are. That's just how they are. So, for it to have, like, a sheer drop like it had is a little bit confusing. Like, this world continues with its drunk generation. I don't know, man. I'm kind of like half expecting the Crimson to freaking intercept a goddamn dungeon next. Hey, buddy. You need to die, sir. Come on. Get out of it. Huh. Okay. There we go. Good old umbrella. I'm kind of tempted to put that right next to the sword, actually, so I can have, uh, you know, the, the good old attack back on me, which is good. Right. So, these easy-to-access hearts, I typically like to leave them last. I like to get the sort of harder ones to get to first. Because, obviously, you know, when you get a Brain of Cthulhu on your ass, you're going to want to have a quick exit. And down here, you're not guaranteed a quick exit, are you? Right, let's have three of those. Uh, I do have a flipper, so I can actually go ahead and do a little bit of this, which is kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, let's get back down here. It is, of course, going to be... What is it? It's going to be The Undertaker, isn't it? Right, didn't even blow it up. Oh, wow, okay. <clears throat> There we go. Fantastic. Come on, boys. At this point, we are looking for that meteorite has landed sign. That would be awesome, buddy. Right. Good day to you, sir. I'm going to kill you, and I'm going to take all of your vertebrae. Oh, God. There's like four of these guys. All right, here we go. Let's do this thing. Spear! Spear away! Oh, this is more like it. Look at this! Look at this, man! Oh, hell yeah, man. That was a, that was a good way. That was a, that was a good way to take people down. Awesome. <laughs> Wait! Oh, wow. There's like three freaking things down here. Wow. Jeez, man. Right. I feel like I should get the furthest one away first. But uh, then again, I might as well just go for this one here, right? Uh, boom. Sticky bombs away! Come on, man! I want one of those meteorites. That would be sweet right now. Come on. Blow it up. Blow it up. And it is a crimson heart. Not useful by any stretch of the imagination apart from for some, like, very low-level lighting. That's all it's good for, really. I mean, it's not even uh, that good a light pet, to be honest. It's a bit sad. It is a sad day when you don't get, like, the panic necklace or something, because that bad boy right there is pretty damn good, if you ask me. Right. Ha! Can I, like, get over here and stuff? Because, you know, you never know. There, there may be a heart crystal down here, because they can spawn down here, and I've seen them spawn down here, you know? Right. Hey, buds. Get killed. I'm going to continue putting down some torches real quick. Uh, okay. There's nothing much going on down there. Certainly no hearts so far. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's have our look actually do well for us for once. Eh. Nah. Okay. Well, there's no hearts down here, guys, sadly. Uh, unless there's some over the right-hand side. I have no idea. Uh, no, there isn't. This is the, this is the extent of this crimson biome. Yeah. Okay. Right, well, I'm not seeing any underground houses around here, so I think it... Oh, there's a life crystal over there, though. <gasps> Ooh, I'm glad I checked my mini-map now. Hey, buddy, I'm going to go and get the heck out of here, boy. What you going to do? What you going to do? I'm getting out of here. I'm getting that freaking heart crystal, boys. Right, I'm doing this. Let's go up. Ha! Yeah, man, we're going up. We're going up. We're going to be nice and safe up here. Okay, there we go. And let's start... Uh, <laughs> I say nice and safe, and then I proceed to almost die. Good job, Python. <laughs> okay. Ninja umbrella, because that's just how I roll. Get wrecked and get wrecked. There we go. All right, let's actually get out of here now. <laughs> and here we go, my friends. I've just managed to parkour my way up here. Fantastic. Were there any more? 
Uh, now just a whole crap ton of crimson altars, which I guess is pretty cool. When it comes down to it, when, you get, when we get a pwn hammer, we'll get some more ores, which is pretty awesome. Hey, buds. How y'all doing? Hey, I mean, you're going to give me vertebrae, you're going to give me a slime staff. Oh, man. You know, one of these days that'll actually work, I'll actually call something. Like, I've managed to do it before by a complete stroke of luck, but, you know, it'd be kind of cool to do it again. It's been a while since I've managed to call something. <laughs> Oh dear. All right. Well, let's continue exploring. Maybe we'll find something cool. Well, guys, I've decided to go exploring once again. And check this out, guys. In one of the water chests, we have ourselves an armored flipper, which is better than this one because it gives me three more defense. So, you know, that's kind of nice and stuff. Hey, that's the message I was looking for, guys. Hmm. It's interesting that it does it now, though. You see, normally on other worlds, I tend to find that the meteorites start spawning in, like, on the very, very first heart or shadow orb you destroy, right? So, hmm. Alrighty, so I am well aware that the loot inside these water chests aren't really anything to be, you know, shouting about. But hey, let's have a look. We got ourselves another flipper. Really, really don't need another flipper. Let's just be frank here, guys. Right, I'm going to go ahead and take that. And hey, there is a trident. Sweet. Three more damage. I will absolutely take that and roll with it. I do believe that a platinum pickaxe will allow us to actually mine up Meteor. But I think we need two more platinum ore, guys. I don't actually think we have enough. We do have enough, on the other hand, for a hook. Hell yeah, man. At long last, we got ourselves a hook. Well, I mean, it's not platinum, but another life crystal. I'm never going to pass that up, am I? I mean, I'm up to 260 health now, my friends, which I'm feeling pretty good about. And I'm pretty convinced that there is a traveling skeleton dude somewhere around here. I can hear you. I gotta find you. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Hi. Are you, uh, are you guarding like a bunch of platinum because... That's what I'm needing right about now. That is what I'm needing. Uh, snowflakes, get the hell out of it. Ah! Is this platinum? No, that's freaking silver. Ah, oh, man. Why is it that silver and platinum, they look so similar in this game? Is it just me? Is it just me who thinks that? It probably is, to be honest. But uh, anyways, come on. Come on, boys. Oh, no, these freaking... I hate these frozen slimes so much. Right, should we have a look and see what this guy's got? Uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna have to get up there real quick. Ha! There we go. Right! What you got? What you got? We got a counterweight. Got a bunch of bombs. I need some bombs, actually. Uh, thank you, buddy. Uh, counterweight is going to be useful. Uh, yeah. There we go. 17 bombs and a counterweight. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, should we run and get some yo-yos up in here? Then we will be quite all right. Hey, man. I'm kind of tempted to ride this minecart and see where it goes. You typically tend to find, like, under... Oh, that is... Uh, he's got gold ore. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that gold ore. It's going to be useful for speed lock potions. Cheers, buddy. But yeah, you tend to find like heart crystals and or underground houses with these things. Check it out. There we go, my friends. There is one right here. So double jump is the big money that we're looking for. Is it going to be double jump? No. Hermes boots and a graph potion. The graph potion is pretty decent. I'm not going to be heartbroken about that. Not the chandelier for the pythonator. Uh, uh, wait, does this thing? Oh, it grabs onto it. Okay, cool. Sweet. Right, let's have a look. Come on, boys. We're looking for some more heart crystals slash anything else that's kind of valuable and cool and nice and awesome. Uh, there is a mushroom biome. Oh, there we go, my friends. Another underground house. Hell yeah. Uh, Band of regen. Nice. I'll take it. We've already got one, but, you know, I'm not going to throw it away because that would just be a silly idea, wouldn't it? Right. Mushroom biome. Could that equal house? Hmm. I would like to hope so. This is a strange looking mushroom biome. I don't know, man. They typically tend to have a very, very flat section, but this one just kind of doesn't. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm not going to be heartbroken about that. Let's just have a look on the mini map real quick. Is there anything around it? It does not look like it, so I think we're actually going to uh, dip out of here real quick. We'll head back here at a later point in the series. Uh, let's go ahead and stack those up. There we go. And uh, yeah. Not bad, not bad. We now have the right-hand side of the minecart to explore. So, that's awesome. Sir, can you, like, go? Thank you, thank you. Right. Full sp- Ooh. What the- Hey! No! I just realised this is a freaking another minecart rail? Oh my god, it's minecart central up in here, guys. Right, okay. I'm not going to be greedy. We're going to explore this minecart rail, and then uh, we're going to head back and try and get me some of that meteor, because that'd be awesome. So, yeah. All right, here we go. Whoa, let's just, uh, let's keep it calm. Oh, that is the end of it. Oh, okay. 
Well, in which case, I might as well go ahead and see what's on the other minecart veil. All right, I mean, I've got no issues with that. Come on, man. Let's head up here real quick and hop we go. There you go. All right, let's go on this one. Maybe we've got to solve some more underground houses. Like I say, you typically tend to find them on these minecart veils, so here's hoping. Whoa. Either that or like a heart crystal would be nice. I'm slowly going through because I'm trying to spot what I can. Uh, nothing so far. It's not very often you find a minecart veil and there's nothing with it, but with this one, it doesn't seem to be. Check this out, guys. There's even a fake enchanted sword shrine here. Look at this. Get out of here, man. No one wants you. No one wants you. All right. Cool. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Right. Quick stack. Uh, yep, that's most of the stuff's gone. Fantastic stuff. Right, we're going to organize the inventory. We're going to make ourselves a platinum pickaxe. And then we are going to do some awesome stuff. Uh, I'm going to put that on because it gives me one more defense as well. Sweet. All right. Let's get, let's get organized. And here we go, guys. Platinum pickaxe. 12 platinum bars and four wood. Let's get it going. Oh, it's a ruthless one. So plus damage. I'll take it. Eight damage. Pretty cool. And I'm also going to make myself a silver hammer. Uh, there we go, and, well, there's no reason why I can't get myself a silver axe as well, right? Because I have myself a bunch of that stuff. Uh, it's in here, isn't it? There we go. Sweet. Uh, right, so, let's get ourselves an axe as well. Let's do it. There we go. Silver hammer, and, I don't know what to take off, man. Ropes. Yeah, cool. Alright, nice one, man. Nice one. We got ourselves a good amount of stuff today, my friends. I'm very, very happy, but we're not finished yet, guys. We're going to go ahead, mine up that meteor, and then get some ultimate upgrades for today's episode. Well, hello, Dr. Bones. You're going to give me that epic hat, right? Oh, wow, he's got a thousand health. What the hell? This guy's like a mini boss on expert mode. Hey, bud. Come on. Come back here. I really want that hat because it looks amazing, dude. And it, it, it would look better on my head rather than yours, okay? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. There we go. Let's put that bad boy on. Yeah, look at me, man. Do I not look amazing? I think I look absolutely amazing. Heck yeah. Just when I thought the world couldn't get any stranger, here I am on the left-hand side of the world exploring the unexplored. And what in the name of all that is holy is this? What is that? I can't even get up there. I physically can't get up there even with a grappling hook. Oh, what the crap? I'm going to have to try and make myself like a massive goddamn freaking thing here. That is nuts. I've never seen this. That is just completely flying, dude. What the crap? <laughs> oh, man. Terraria, you're drunk. Go home. Go home, Terraria. You are actually drunk right now. All right, we're going up here. This looks like something off of a freaking build server, man. What the hell is this? Dude, this is actually legit the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen in Terraria. In my personal history, this is the weirdest thing. Let me just look at it, man. What the crap? What the crap? <laughs> oh, man. I, I don't know. I don't even know anymore, man. I just don't even know. Well, I mean, at least we managed to get past it. Alrighty, guys. So, for the sake of pure curiosity, I found myself another enchanted sword shrine chasm. I've dug my way down, and as you can see, this is another real one. Another real one. Ah, oh, it's another enchanted sword. Dude, it would be amazing. In all capital letters, it would be amazing if I could get the Arcalis for the very first time in my Terraria history. That would be absolutely bonkers. It really, really would be. But let's be honest, it's not really going to happen. I believe it's a 1 in 10 chance from the Enchanted Sword Shrines. Something like that. Anyways, onwards with the meteor hunting. Okay, so get this, guys. I have found the fifth giant tree on this world. Five giant trees on a world! Whoa! I don't think I've ever had so many large trees on a world either. Man. Like, Terraria is not failing to impress me with what is on this world, guys. It has to be said, I'm actually kind of astounded. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff on this world, guys. Some of it is drunk. In fact, a decent amount of it is drunk, in fact. But it's like a good drunk. It's just kind of funny, really, more than anything. <laughs> uh, but there we go, my friends. We're on the left-hand side ocean at long last. We made it. Ah, oh, Man, that took a while. That really, really did take a while. I'm actually kind of surprised at how long it took. 
Right, well, I mean, I don't see a reason why I can't go ahead and just head down here. See if there's anything in the chest real quick. There is a sleeping angler there. But, do you know what? I don't think we really need to do anything. Uh, what? Ow! 74 damage. Jesus. This may be enough to Ah! Ow. That actually kind of hurt, though. Can you, like, not ever? Please? Thank you? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Get out of here! Go! Go, 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 go. Any more? Any more for any more? Yeah, there's this stuff. And it's time to go. Stop! Damn it! <laughs> oh. Ah, here it is, guys. It's actually not that far away from the base. I'm actually kind of surprised. Right, here we go, guys. I, I, there's only really one way to do this. Ha boom! There we go. We'll start off with dynamite, and then we'll go down to the normal bombs as we go along. Oh, look at that. Heck yeah, man. Look at that, man. Look at that. Loads. Loads and loads. Loads and loads, I tell you. Right. Hello. Uh, I'd like to very much not die, please. And I'd also like all of you to bugger off, quite frankly, because uh, I don't really want you in my life. Uh, there we go. <sighs> One way over there. There we go. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Look at it, man. Look at it. Freaking meteorite galore, dude. Ha boom. There we go. And yeah, and after this, we've got ourselves a bunch of more. There's just loads. There's just loads, guys. There's just a ridiculous amount. And I'm actually not complaining at all. I actually rather like this. I'm not very much a fan of all these dudes freaking spawning in, though. Get the heck out of it, boys. And there we go, my friends. The meteorite has now been dug out to the point where it's no longer classed as a meteorite biome. And check this out, guys. 532 ore. That is just insanity. I remember the days when you struggled to even get 250. But yeah, that's kind of nuts. There we go. Oh my word, dude, we're going to be able to make so much stuff. Look at this. We've got a grand total of what? 177, I think that comes to. If my uh, mathematics is correct. I have no idea. Anyways, guys, the time has finally come to get ourselves our first set of full armor. Let's do it. Going from pretty much barely anything to 20 defense. Let's have ourselves the space gun, the hammax as well. Which actually, when it comes to it, means I kind of didn't actually need to make these two at all. So that was a waste of silver. Good job, Python. But uh, guys, there we go. Things are looking good. And now I feel confident enough to the point where I think I might be able to take down the Eye of Cthulhu, King Slime, and maybe even the Brain of Cthulhu all in the future episodes. Maybe in the next one, maybe the one after that. I have no idea. But ladies and gentlemen, before wrapping up, of course, we're going to head into the common question of the video. Coming from Fly Tab Stab, anyone else thinks that Python should make a vanity set collection going? By the way, Python, how are you doing today, my good sir? I am doing good. I am doing very, good, very good. Thank you very much for asking. And that is an excellent suggestion. It's not really something I've actually done before, really. I mean, I think I've done armor collections before, but I haven't really done anything in the way of a build for storing a bunch of vanity stuffs on mannequins. I can't remember off the top of my head anyway. I may have done, but I can't remember it. But yeah, that's a really, really good suggestion that is definitely going down on my list of things that I want to build in this series, especially considering it is October and we're going to start getting goodie bags very, very shortly, which I'm I'm looking forward to. I really am looking forward to it, guys. But anyways, that's got to wrap it up for today, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, a like rating, as always, would be super appreciated. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. That's going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.